so I just got done watching a video about the importance of keeping your bike in a garage. So here I am to greet my bike. Not in the garage. Close this up. And I'm about due for a video. <laughs> the fucking towel. One of these days I'm gonna get the permission to do a video on this bike. Thunderheader pipe, the T bars, and my fucking phone holder. Whatever. <sighs> one day. I'll ride you one day. For the time being, I got some quality time to make up. What's going on, fellas? It's the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. It's cold, and I have a package to deliver. Er, to return. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just got done watching a video by the Moto John about how important it is to keep your bike in a garage. Neither me or my dad keep our bikes in a garage. That's just some small town stuff right there. What's going on? It's your boy Duarte. Back on the Dyna. My helmet didn't get buckled. I forgot. <laughs> Back on the Dyna. It's been a minute. So my uh, muffler was hanging off for a minute. I had to take off my Bung King lift kit because my bike was sitting too high for my muffler to be bolted in right. And so all the constant you know making shit work kind of catches up to you and we're back so that's what matters and what better time to talk about my five favorite dynamods than right after taking one off am i right so that'll be this video my top five favorite harley davidson dynamods honorable mention the bunk king lift kit uh, i just took it off because it wasn't working with my setup i loved it i just couldn't use it to the video number five hands down my whiplash speed co shorty levers the oem style ones i love these things dude i got big hands oh shout out to bad touch supply for the gloves by the way shout out to bagger bro but i got big hands and pulling on those freaking stock oem clutch levers is just a mission sometimes and so coming to a stop two fingers is all it takes love these things i believe they were 110 dollars you can find the details for those on the uh whiplash speed co instagram i'll probably pop it up on screen i'll probably pop everything up on screen as i'm editing number four favorite dynamod are these live free cycles mx uh floorboards i had the pegs that are in the back you can see them maybe right here i was running those pegs for a minute and then i was running a bunking rear crash bar in the back but then when he dropped these mini floorboards i had to pick them up and they're by far my favorite foot peg i've ever had period they're just i can move my foot forward and back and i can just move around i don't even use this freaking crash bar as a highway peg anymore these things are so comfortable there isn't even a point like i don't even like i can just move my foot a little forward i got short legs i don't need all this it's good to have a crash bar though but live free cycles mx foot pegs check them out awesome dude oakland california uh, i don't know what else to say <laughs> fuck really every red light i'm trying to get on with the video but i hit every red light so far like i that's the point of making a moto vlog video if you can't moto vlog i want to go forward i don't want to sit still and do nothing this is wearing a mask in his car by yourself why are you wearing a mask by yourself in a car for what reason my number three favorite mod are right here these bars they are west coast t-bars mx 14 inches or no they were 12 inch t-bars on my sportster and so i figured that this would be the best position for me and i've never looked back i love these bars to death and here's another fucking red light <sighs> i'm taking this thing to la in a couple weeks i don't know how i'm gonna make it <laughs> I mean, okay, technically it's not LA. I'm riding to Orange County with my pops. We're gonna go visit some family. Moral of the story, West Coast T-Bars, 14 inch MX bars, favorite mod, or third favorite mod, I should say. The fucking hate red lights. Number two, it'll be this guy right here. This magical windshield that blocks all this wind and keeps me able to ride in the 30 degree weather. By the way it looks, I'm kind of like setting up a club style build, which I mean, I guess it, you could call it a club style build. Uh, everything I've done makes me more comfortable on the bike, which should be what you look for in a bike. I mean, if you're especially a cruiser or a Harley specifically, all these bikes can be made to suit your comfort levels. And so I would recommend a Sportster or a Dyna for that reason, just because you can make these bikes fit you perfectly. To kind of cap it off, my number one Dynamod so far, which I'm not going to be able to show off in the video because it's underneath my butt, is this Saddleman seat is definitely all the money well spent, 100%. It puts me in the perfect position. I feel so comfortable. Like all these bumps that I'm hitting, like I don't even feel. It's so spongy, it's so comfortable, but it's so stiff, it locks you in. It's perfect. I never could have asked for anything better. So I guess that makes my top five Dynamods. It's hard to rank them most favorite to least favorite. All of the things I've done to this bike kind of work in conjunction to fit me perfectly. So would recommend a Harley for that reason. 
I guess one of the benefits of living in a small town, back to that Moto John video I was talking earlier, I'm five minutes of a ride away from all this. Moto John lives in Philly, which I've kind of driven around. I wouldn't say I've been to. The moral of his video was just be careful with your bike because it can get took. I feel like I could sit out here for hours and my bike wouldn't move. I love small towns. I love living in a small town. Okay, wheelies. It just stops making that sound after a while. Yeah, it's not safe to do it out here. I need some better road. I guess I'm just going to end this video here. Short video today. That was my top five Dino mods. They're not ranked from most favorite to least favorite. It's just kind of the top five that I've gotten so far. <laughs> Put an emphasis on that so far part. There will be more. <laughs> I'd love to get a setup to where I can kind of post and record videos more working on the bikes. If you'd like to see that, let me know. Like I said, I'd love to get a Sportster project and build a Sportster for the channel and do a bunch of stuff. There's just so much I want to do that I don't have the money for. <laughs> if you want to make that happen, watch my videos, leave a like, comment, share, tell your friends, tell your grandma. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you making it this far if you have. I appreciate all that you've helped this channel grow so far. Um, I hope that it you know, picks up steam eventually. And thanks for watching. My name is Elijah Duarte and I'm signing out.